Hi, church. I'm Sharonique Legitima, and I'm a part of the Alpha team there in Manchester. And I'm so elated to have this opportunity to join you all the way from the south of Italy. Now, today I'd like to share my journey on how God brought newness into my life from a very dark place. The scripture for today comes from the latter part of Romans 12, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. So a little bit of a backstory. In 2017, I made a bold decision to move to Manchester. And I was extremely excited, of course. I was excited to continue my growing relationship with my now husband. And I was happy to be in a new city with new opportunities, new friends, new jobs. Now, since everything in my life was new, I also decided that I had to start my season by recommitting my life to God, because for me, it was important to start things off on the right foot. Now, that decision led me to audacious. Fast forward to 2019, imagine how absolutely devastated I was to discover that I had to move from Manchester, a city that I'd grown to love, to a small town in the south of Italy against my desires. And I knew it wasn't right for me. So of course, naturally, I was disappointed, I was heartbroken, and I really struggled to recover over the next year because I couldn't let my life go. I felt completely lost and out of place. I was lonely. I had made no friends. I had no church family to lean on. So, I started to see depression slowly creeping in. Then, as if things couldn't get any worse, the COVID and pandemic hit. And all I can say are two words, rock bottom, because that's exactly where I was. However, despite my circumstances, I still had a tiny bit of faith and hope left, which turns out uh, to be all that God needed in order to turn my tears into new wine. In retrospect, I could now see that I was in fact going through the winemaking process as God was and still is preparing me for his will, which according to today's scripture verse says, his will is good and pleasing and perfect. He wanted to make something new out of me, perhaps bring new wine out of me. Now, this got me to thinking further into how wine was made. How are grapes transformed into a completely new product that looks, feels, and tastes different? And how is this applicable to my life today? Well, first, we have to understand the steps in the winemaking process. For step one, the grapes are harvested, after which they are crushed and pressed to extract the juice needed to begin the fermentation process. Next, the fermented product is clarified and later allowed to age, then bottled. So that's harvested, crushed, and pressed, fermented, clarified, and aged. Do you see a familiar pattern here? Well, I did. So I dug deeper into this process. I began to draw the parallel between the winemaking process and my walk with God. And I realized that I was being harvested just like the grape and that God was the winemaker. I'm harvested. God knew exactly what I needed in my wilderness moment. And so he provided by way of an email an invitation to sign up for the Alpha course. Now, at first I must admit I wasn't sure that Alpha was right for me, but I was so desperate for fellowship that I went ahead and I signed up anyway. I believe that this was God's way of reminding me that I was chosen. So just as the winemaker chooses the grapes in the harvest, so does God choose you from wherever you are, no matter the situation. He definitely chose me. I'm crushed and pressed. Simply saying the words crushed and pressed makes me think pain. So it's no surprise to me that this is perhaps one of the steps that most believers despise. But in order to be prepared, we must endure the struggle. 
even though I was still battling with the question of why I was in Italy and why God allowed this. God didn't let me go through it alone. I had the support of my, um, my team um, in Alpha. And I came to the understanding that this crushing process was God's way of preparing me for the next step. All I needed to be able to do was endure. Now, the good news is that we are not alone in our situations, as we have the Holy Spirit who is with us wherever we are, even if wherever is rock bottom. And he provides peace in the storm, definitely does. And fermented. Fermentation is a beautiful yet crucial process. Now, this is where the liquid extracted is stored for a specific amount of time and left to be transformed into wine. In fact, it is through this process that the uniqueness of the wine begins to develop. Richness of color, strength of aroma, depth of flavor, and so on. Now, God's transformation in my life was so indescribable. I mean, I couldn't recognize myself. I was really seeing the old becoming new. Now, just as the grape juice was undergoing its transformation, I too was being transformed daily. God was developing new skills, a new mindset, a new heart, a new spirit within me. He was creating newness in me, even in a place of darkness, but I was being fermented. I'm clarified. Although, ferment, although the fermentation process produces wine, the clarification process is another vital step. This is due to the fact that the, after fermentation, wine can be cloudy in appearance. However, an interesting fact about wine is that if given enough time, most wines cleanse themselves by dropping sediment to the bottom of the ferment. In a similar way, I was able to see that through my transformation, coupled with faith, time, and patience, the cloud of doubt, sin, and anger no longer lingered in my heart. This is not to suggest in the slightest that I was anywhere close to perfection, but instead, I say this to say that I saw a difference in the way that I interacted with sin. My thoughts were different, my talk was different, and my choices were different. So I began to trust God with my future, although I couldn't understand exactly where he was taking me. I'm aged. People hear the word aged and can sometimes be completely offended, yet God-given maturity is essential on our journey. Job said it best in chapter 12 and verse 12. Is not wisdom found among the age? Does, an, does not long life bring understanding? I know, life can make us feel tired and weary, but walking my path with the Holy Spirit by my side, helping me overcome battle after battle, has given me time-attained wisdom, which in extension or by extension, has completely changed my entire outlook on my situation. It's also started to change the mindset of those around me as well. Now with this maturity, I came to trust in God and his plan. New hope, new faith to believe for things I never thought were possible, like returning to Manchester in the future, for example, so I could finally experience audacious in person again. One day, I hope. Now, if you don't remember anything else from this devotional, remember this. Just as the grapes were chosen during the harvest, so are we chosen. We are prepared through the struggle and transformed in our darkness. We are cleansed as we draw closer to God. And in his perfect time, we are matured to perfection. It is only then that we can see God's will for our lives and new wine will come out of us. Have a good day, church.